Leading our bulletin, a new incident of violence has been recorded around the volatile Wirskul Overval precinct. A police van was petrol bombed in renewed protests. Meanwhile, the Congress of South African Students embarked on a march against the school's language policy. COSAS is demanding several drastic changes at the school. COSAS is demanding the removal of the school principal and appointment of an interim head to resolve the issues. The students' organization also demands criminal charges against the police who shot at protesters. ANC Youth League President Corin Mayine is also expected to visit the school. The police today brought in the tactical response team, which is used in highly volatile situations. Racial tensions reached fever pitch on Wednesday as political parties met on the school grounds, with one parent being attacked at the school premises. <laughs> But now, the other one who is the other one who is the other one the other one who is 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 the England because I can't pay the school fees. I've tried to clean here. They intimidated me. They nearly threw me with rocks. Come on, man. I'm trying to clean up. I'm not fighting with anybody. I can't allow this to, to, to happen in my street. In this, this, is, this is my neighborhood. I can't Are you a parent? Thing. No, I'm not a parent. I'm a concerned citizen. And then do you feel that this particular protest is a problem? Don't you feel that they're fighting for their rights? I, I, I personally feel that everybody's got rights. But there's one thing, you cannot, you cannot disturb me while I'm busy cleaning. I didn't put the mess there, but I'm prepared to clean it. Look at my hands. And now uh, uh, they intimidated me not to clean. And that, that to me is wrong. I, I, I'm, I haven't got my rights. For me, it's a huge problem. No matter what the situation here is, I've got no children here. This is my neighborhood. I stay here. I can't live like this. Now here's what Costas is demanding. Removal of school principal and all racist teachers. Appointment of an interim principal to address issues at the school. Criminal charges against police officers who shot protesters. And change of language policy to English-only medium of instruction. The situation around the school where the protesters started to bend tires, which is not allowed in terms of the law. Uh, police warned them to disperse, but um, they didn't hit our call. It is why uh, we we use uh, minimum force uh, to disperse them. Uh, police are here to monitor the situation. Uh, these protesters who are um, uh, walking around the school to make sure that there is no violence. Uh, we have deployed members um, in the area and also in the surrounding areas uh, to make sure that there are no criminal activities that are taking place. There are various units uh, who are deployed here uh, to do some uh, specific duties. Um, we have deployed and we have, we have reinforced all the police officers that are here with all the other units in the, in the south. Yesterday we have requested an audience uh, both with the management and the school, uh, SGB, they refused. Uh, and that's why we are here in the streets. Uh, but we must be able to make it clear that uh, we are not here to temper with the education of the kids that are inside uh, and we are not going to do anything with them, we would not uh, act in a violent way, uh, we would not harm, harm anybody. Ours is for our own kids that is a black child to be allowed uh, in this school here. My message to the principal was that uh, number one, it is important to uh, acknowledge the right to protest action and the demonstrations uh, because it is a fundamental right but obviously that right has to be exercised in a manner that is peaceful that is unarmed and that does not deny learners inside Ufafal High School the uh, ability to learn and to exercise their right to a basic education so there are also limitations to that right and that has been conveyed by myself also to the demonstrators themselves so they are very much aware of the uh, um, constraints and the confines of those particular 
uh, of, of that particular fundamental right. There were multiple instances today where we thought shots might be fired, but the police have seemed to show quite a lot of restraint today compared to yesterday. Unexpectedly, everyone thought things were quieting down. A petrol bomb was thrown at a police van. As you can see here behind me, police are now on high alert. Uh, there's still a very, very large police presence here at this stage. Uh, the police van here, if I'll ask my cameraman to pan to the right uh, has been caught an off obviously this is now some kind of incident you can see the burn marks on the actual police van uh, but uh, obviously police are now processing things shortly after that uh, shots were fired uh, to disperse a lot of the um, protesters and then many many protesters were arrested at that point